Welcome YTPC, Edwin here from Central Texas. And this morning, having my poker 311 Roma edition with some country squire cowboy coffee. And we are going to chat about this little, uh, you know, this tobacco blend right here. I must, of course, pairing it this morning with some coffee. Hmm. Very, very good. And yeah, we're just going to chat a little bit about this tobacco blend that I got. I'm no expert, but let's go through it. And one thing I will mention, I did bought a box of this white elephant charcoal filters. And I want to see, you know, I want to see if I like it or not, if I like my Savinelli pipes with that filter or not, and see what we do. And make a decision. <laughs> so I got that box and I'll be using it and see, you know, what are my preferences. I've been smoking now for a month without filters and now I'm going to try this. So in this case, I do have a wild white elephant filter in this 311. Hmm. So let's go to the cowboy coffee blend. Let me tell you, this is one of those market that as a morning style of blends that you can have. It's basically in the same line as the early morning pipe, right? In terms of, hey, this is perfect in the morning with coffee and all that and if i look at the description i have some notes right here from their website it says it's an intriguing virginia's smoky dark fire kentucky and a splash of cavendish that makes this tobacco a strong eye opener smoky earthy and a great for breakfast and let me tell you in that tin note, when you look at this, it definitely has uh, that Virginia, it has like some sweetness. Yeah, it has some sweetness on it. And then, of course, a little bit of background on that smoke in it. That's how it looks. Okay, the cut on that. Very, very nice. So you will see a little bit on background on the smokiness. It's not, it's not super strong. Okay, it's not super strong, but it's definitely, you have like this sweetness, smokiness style of blend that I actually enjoy. One thing to mention, this is my first time smoking Dark Fire Kentucky, and from what I read, it does contain a lot of nicotine, so even that for me, this ball might be medium strength, be aware that, you know, Dark Fire Kentucky does contain a lot of nicotine and it might, you know, it might be different for different people, right? So, now let me tell you, this is one of those blends. That will open up when you retrohale, okay? You will definitely, you will definitely capture a lot of those flavors, that smokiness flavors, and a little bit of that spice that I imagine is coming from the dark fire Kentucky. And in my case, it's not pepper spice. It's not pepper spice. It's more like no nuttiness, cinnamon spice that I get, okay? Sometimes, sometimes I feel that Virginia, that hay, that earthiness of the Virginias. And then that background, that smoky background that is very light, guys. It's not overdone. So I think they did a real good job on this blend right here. Mm -hmm. But you definitely... If you can, you should learn how to retrohale and, and, you know, be able to capture those other senses and other uh, flavors that you get from this tobacco. 
burns really well of course i'm still learning at talking and smoking at the same time so so for me you might see me relighting it but that that's really good in terms of in terms of packing and all that i have no issues with it and yeah it's like this nuttiness little bit of sweetness that come from that with this background of of smoke you know again not overdone that smoke that in my case just like they say it goes really well with coffee very smooth and no bite at all So I will recommend it. You know, it's one of those blends that I will definitely enjoy. I'm happy I purchased and, you know, it definitely will go really well with my early morning pipe as well. You know, I can go back and forth between those two. Again, this guy, Virginia's, Dark Fire, Kentucky, and just some Cavendish. I'm not sure. I imagine the Cavendish is kind of like marrying those two virginias and the dark fire kentucky but i'm still learning so it's not something i can detect but again not super you know not a lot of hay but you get some earthiness some notiness a little bit of spice on that retro hell that i love and again that touch of smokiness that you will get every now and then from the dark fire kentucky i'm a fan guys i'm a fan and again I will say probably medium strength, yeah, medium strength or so on this one right here. And again, not a real review. This is just chatting about this blend, what I can see, what I detect on it. And I will continue enjoying this beautiful, beautiful blend with my coffee. And I hope you guys have a great they out there if it's snowing stay warm guys stay warm out there right here it's okay it's just like 50s or 40s i'm using this because my mohawk is all crazy so mm. very very good i can even see this as an all day smoke but again the nicotine be aware right supposedly dark fire kentucky has a lot of nicotine so so we'll see you know make, make sure you, you check on that but of course like you can see on that plan not a lot of it so so they did a good job at balancing that you guys have a great day out there edwin out bye